Hey Capricorn, it's Deb with Goddess of the Moon Tarot. I am here to do your reading for this week. Hopefully you guys are doing well. I hope that this reading finds you safe. But I'm going to go ahead and shuffle up the decks and we'll get started. So I'm still playing with the setup as you guys can tell. Hopefully you can see things a little better now, but we'll see. The Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So, Capricorn, you know, I feel like you really are just in your bag and focus on you know, where you put your investments, where you put your finances. You're looking at all your outcomes. You're seeing you know, what you have accomplished for the year. You might be doing your taxes or you might be, you know, looking into, like, getting a loan or something like that. We got four of this. Okay, yeah. So you're trying to save also. So you probably have been putting things into savings accounts and stuff like that. But let's see. Let's get clarification. Get the cards out here. So we got the Empress, the Two of Cups, Princess of Cups, the Hermit card, the Five of Wands, the King of Swords. And the tower is the last card. Okay. So, Capricorn, I feel like you're in Empress energy right now. You know what I'm saying? With this um, Nine of Pentacles energy right now. So, you're being, you're very fruitful, very abundant. I feel like you're attracting a Two of Cups. I feel like you, you might have been asking the universe for a soulmate. I feel like... You might want to actually be careful because we got the Princess of Cup, cup. So either you or someone that you might be attracted might still need some work on their heart chakra because we got the Hermit card right here. So this person might still need to get to know themselves. It might be a Virgo with the Hermit right here. But um, there might be a lot of different options to choose from. There might be a lot of competitive energy that's around you. Um, also, you might have a uh, air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or this could just be any general energy coming towards you. And this person might try to bring a tower or it might be a tower moment for this person that's about to happen. Okay, So let's get clarification. The Empress. The Six of Swords, the Chariot came in my lap, the Eight of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Knight of Swords. Okay, so I feel like you made a move, okay? If you're the Empress, you made a move, Capricorn, and I feel like when you made this move, it communicated to a lot of people that the only thing that you wanted in your life is stability and structure and a firm foundation. So now I feel like people are getting the message. I feel like um, some people... Some people feel some type of way towards it, you know what I'm saying? But you're getting away from conflict and confusion. I feel like you tried to clear up what 
what you could and now you're moving forward because you got this two of cups right here so what's this Okay, so the night of challenge, yeah, that's what I figured. So, oh my god, I gotta switch, switch over a little bit. Okay, so I feel like with the we got the Knight of um, Pentacles and the Two of Swords. But before I even looked at the cards, it was kind of like with the Knight of Chalice. It's like indicating someone who is willing to go out, but they take their time when it comes to making a you know, solid offer of, or finally giving their offer, okay? So, I feel like someone's trying to decide, like, what they should get, or, like, and this is the person that's connected to the other end, okay? So, someone's trying to figure out what they should give someone else. They don't feel like they know what to give them. But then, it's like they don't know what form of, um, relationship or connection they should build the princess of cups is like uh underdeveloped kind of like to me you know what i'm saying or a person that is tapping in even if it's you know they're they're learning how to function in their own way in their own heart you know go for their own goals so what's this what's this princess of cups seeing the nine of chalice yeah the tower is someone's growing up at a rapid pace you know what i'm saying wow okay we got the ten of wands the knave of swords the Hermit card in reverse, the Nine of Chalice, and the King of Wands. Look, yeah. So, because they're still trying to work on this, you know, like I said, the Princess of Cups is like still learning, you know what I'm saying? So, since they're going through that, this heavy burden that they're carrying, I feel like they kind of don't. The hermit card is in reverse, okay? And we see the hermit card is right next to here. So it's saying, I feel like somebody is not completely going within to themselves. They're still blocking things off. So that's why they, they're they still carrying this burden. It's like they won't release it or something. They would rather hold on to the burden than to go within. Um yeah, because look, the, the knave of swords is like studying, learning. Someone's studying and learning about another wish. It's almost like... Hmm. I don't understand why they don't want to learn themselves. I feel like this this is the black because we got the hermit card right here and this tower right here. I think they're gonna they're gonna have to learn a harsh lesson because the the tower is here. You know what I'm saying? What's the hermit? I need to get that. What's what's this card? Right here. Oh, this person is a very angry person, is what I'm hearing. They have attitudes. They fight people. Oh, emperor. Ooh, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. We have the Temperance card in reverse, the Four of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Ace of Swords reverse. Yeah. So it's kind of like. Yeah. 
this person needs to calm themselves and if they can't they need to go and get some help or they can get themselves calm to a calm state i feel like this person is very chaotic okay they might be very destructive they might be causing a lot of destruction i feel like a lot of people are holding back from them or so people are keeping their distance from them or kind of staying you know staying away i feel like people are keeping their energy to themselves I don't know who this is. This air sign, possibly, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I feel like there's someone that is coming with, like, they want to come with some type of, they're trying to back up some, some type of lie. That's what I don't understand because the, it's like the truth has already been revealed and, it's, and everybody knows that. the competition so this must be like the outside people you know what i'm saying yeah with the two of swords the ones that are influencing this decision on what this person should go and, and bring or what they should bring okay so i mean this person is not a very nice person. So whoever they're talking to, giving advice to, they're giving them bad advice. So if that's you, if you're getting bad advice from um, from someone, Capricorn, I feel like this person doesn't want you to be in your full um, capacity of being an emperor. This person wants to um, have competition with you over that. Okay, what's this? Five of Wands. Seven. Yeah. The thing is, it don't matter because you're going to block them. You're going to block them and you're still going to continue to be courageous and still go forward with whatever it is that you're doing. So regardless of what they're trying to do, it's not going to stop you. You're just going to keep going forward. I mean, the strength card is like taming the beast within. That means that you're conquering yourself. You know what I'm saying? So that's dope. Okay. What's the king of swords? lover's card <laughs> while you're doing all this inner work and learning a lot of things and you know just life lessons i feel like you might have a lover uh gemini especially because it's sticking out right now but um it could be uh aquarius or a libra that's gonna come in and this person Tower moment. So let's see what's what's what is this tower? Okay. Seven of Chalice. Okay. The Emperor came out and the four of swords. Okay, so this person wants to bring healing. They want to create Children is what I feel. When I see this, that's what I felt. So they want to heal. They're gonna so they're gonna help you to become, you know, like I said, the emperor. Have the full potential to be the emperor in your environment or whatever it is that you're creating. Okay. All right. So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope someone got something out of this. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Hit the post notification bell on the way out, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.